Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to take a look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 version 1909, also known as the November 2019 update. This is the feature update number 8 available for Windows 10 after the original release. And let's just say that this is a minor update that only enhances the work available with the May 2019 update. So you can think of this version as a service pack. In fact, it is so small that devices running the May 2019 update will receive this new version as a cumulative update through Windows Update, and it won't require full reinstallation, which is a good thing. So you don't need to use the Media Creation Tool or Update Assistant to upgrade. However, if you use these tools, an unnecessary full reinstallation will take place. On the other hand, if you're coming from the October 2018 update or an older release, then the upgrade process will not change. The download process will take longer and full reinstallation of Windows will take place no matter the tool you use. Before we move on, remember to check the video description for updating information about the release date and the steps to get this new feature update. Now let's get started with the new changes. As part of the new features in this new version, Windows 10 introduces the ability to create calendar events from the taskbar without the need to open the calendar app. So now you just need to open the date and time flyout menu where you will see a new option to create events. So to create an event, just, just click on the fill and start typing the event. If you have multiple accounts on your calendar, you can select it from here. You can also set up the start and end time and even the location. You can also click the save button to save it directly to your calendar, or you can click the more details, which will open the calendar app to continue adding more details. In Action Center, the November 2019 update now shows options to configure and turn off notifications from the app or a website right from the notification. So now you can click the settings button right here, which allows you to turn off notification for that app or go straight to the notifications for that particular app. This will happen inside of Action Center and even when you see a toast notification. Also in Action Center, you will find a new button to access the notification settings at the top right corner. In the start menu, you won't find a lot of changes, but hovering over the left rail now will expand automatically. This was a feature already available in 1903, but Microsoft is now expanding it to all users. Starting with Windows 10 version 1909, the search box in File Explorer now is controlled by Windows Search. This also means that the search box in File Explorer is integrated with OneDrive content online, just like when using the taskbar search. So now you can search for anything on, on the search box and it will bring results from files locally stored on your computer and those store on OneDrive if you're using the service. Now let's look at the new changes for the settings tab. There are not a lot, but there are a few of them. For example, now when you go to the notifications in actions page, you will find a new option that allows you to disable and enable sound for all notifications. In the past, you needed to disable the feature or go to each app to disable notifications individually. Also, there is a new store option that allows you to store applications by name or for the most recent one that showed a notification, which will make a little bit easier to find the app that you want to adjust the settings for notifications. Even further, now when you go to the notifications settings for a particular app, you will see some visual changes, but there are not new options. The only thing that you're going to see here are visual cues so you can understand which options you're actually enable or disable because they're kind of similar. So for show notifications banner, it shows you an image with a banner so you understand what type of notification you're turn on, turning off or on, or if you want to turn off notifications in Action Center for that particular app. And that's pretty much all that's new with the settings up with the November 2019 update. In addition to these visual changes, 
Microsoft is also making available some additional system changes regarding support for third-party digital assistance, containers, CPU support, and battery life, and more. If you want to learn more about these changes, use the link in the video description below. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.